Saints can't qualify out of their group. Is their League Cup campaign over? Yeah, it's over. Yeah, disappointing. I think the first game was unacceptable. The performance. Uh, and we were good against Aloe. I actually thought when I watched the game back, and I knew at the time that our performance to the second goal was was good. We just didn't take our chances that we created. Uh, and then after the second goal, we got a bit disjointed and stuff. Um, with the squad just now, I've not got the sort of the squad depth there to go and try and influence the game as well. So uh, it's hard to ask young players to go on it and affect the game when when you're losing the game. So, uh, but again, it's all about uh, preparing for the start of the league now. So uh, we want to win the game Saturday against Stirling, but uh, there's positions up for grabs, grabs and uh, it's up to the players to go and. Uh, make sure that they're ready for the Hearts game. Is it alarm bells or is it not a time to panic? Is it more a time to regroup and think ahead? I think when you go out of competition, it's obviously not nice, but I think we're a work in progress. I think with the squad that we've got just now, with the injuries we have, and we need to add a few bit, a bit of quality as well there, so we're certainly not panicking, but we know we need to be better as well, so it's, it's a bit of both. You mentioned the squad there, but you are still a little bit light on numbers. Is the priority ahead of the league kicking off? Is that like a priority ahead of the league kicking off a week on Saturday? Yeah, definitely. We want to. Ideally, we'd have had the players in as soon as we can, but when we get the job late, we're always behind the sort of the eight ball, and, and it was always going to be difficult. And I think, as well, I'm, I'm looking to bring in quality over quantity, so I think it's important that we add quality, and we're trying to do that as quick as we can, so uh, we're close to we're close to something uh, coming in uh, imminently and uh, hopefully that gets done and then we'll add a, hopefully add another two or three. Is that going to be announced at three minutes past six tonight? <laughs> no, it won't be done today. Uh, hopefully tomorrow. He's, he's on route the player, so uh, hopefully we can get out of the line soon. And you said that you're wanting to focus on quality, not quantity, but as we know, quality often comes with <laughs> wanting a little bit of cash. Do you feel the wage budget is enough to get you where you want the squad to be? Yeah, listen, the, the budget's what it is. I think what happens now with players, they all, they all want, want as much as they can, so uh, which is understandable. We've lost players to other clubs because they pay more money, so and that's in the SPFL. It's, it's the way it is. Uh, other clubs pay bigger wages than St Johnston, and uh, that's just the way it is. So uh, we know what it is, and, and we need to. Work. There's still players that are coming available now that weren't available maybe two or three weeks ago. So we're comfortable with where, where we are. Will fans have to be patient in the sense that some of the deals will come after the league campaign starts? Yeah, I think so. I think we'll go right up to the transfer and the closes. So, um, ideally, we want them in as soon as possible, but it will be what it will be. We, if we need to wait for that bit of quality, then we'll just have to wait. Now, that player just on team news, we've got somebody in transport in cargo. How excited are you then for this new signing? Yeah, hopefully he comes in and does well. It's always, when you bring new players in, it'll bring a freshness to the group as well. And, He's hungry, he's looking to come and play and uh, he's excited for the challenge as well. So uh, we're looking forward to getting him in the building. And just any other team or contract news? No, nothing else to report here. Stephen's suspended, uh, the young lad and uh, Graham Carey's picked up a knock as well. So he's touching close, so hopefully he'll be fit for the weekend.